Oh, hey, what's happening there, YouTube? It's Brian House here for Housework, and today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind about the Revolution 2x72 belt grinder build. If you're just joining my channel, uh, you may want to go back and watch the series about the conceptualization, the design, and ultimately the prototyping, and now the production of the Revolution 2x72. We sell parts and plans and bolts and nuts and pieces and all that for that grinder and it's been a life-changing experience for me and uh, most of you probably already know but uh, uh, I really truly uh, love doing this work and it has given me a ton of purpose and made my life so much better so anyway I know that sounds weird to say about a grinder but it's the truth honestly but today I really want to talk about the uh, the platen uh, bracket and I know that seems kind of granular, but it's something that's kind of been bothering me about the design. Up until today, I have um, been telling everyone to use like two inch angle bracket, or you can take a piece of um, say two inch uh, by three inch pipe or two inch by two inch uh, tube steel, uh, not pipe, but tube steel, and you can cut it and you can make that angle bracket that holds the platen, which is the forward facing component of the grinder. It's actually the, one of the major components of the grinder. It's forward facing, customer facing, or user facing. And it's um, something I feel like I may have overlooked a little bit in the, ultimately in the design. So, uh, you know, when you kind of like get one of those thoughts, you wake up and you go, boom, I got it, I got it. I could, I could do this. Um, that was this morning. I spent a lot of time thinking about it yet again in the shower. I was uh, thinking about how, uh, by the time you watch this, by the way, uh, I will have already received the final package of my Langmuir Systems Crossfire Pro, and I will most likely be pulling my hair out trying to assemble it but, uh, uh, and learn how to use it. But I had a couple of ideas that if I could come up with a platen bracket that I could design and uh, cut myself here in the shop, then uh, maybe it, it would, uh, ultimately it would go to the laser cutter and he would actually produce them. But the Crossfire Pro CNC plasma cutter is uh, something that a lot of you have or may have access to. So I figured, well, if I can design it and build it here, that means you guys could probably design it and build it there. And yes, you could do this with hand tools uh, and a grinder, but uh, I, you know, uh, I'm, I'm on the, the side of, hey, if you can go get it CNC cut, have that done. Um, and if you have access to one, that's great. If you don't, uh, I'm thinking about offering them on the website. So the platen bracket would probably become part of the bundle that I'm putting together for the 2x72. And if you haven't seen that yet, I've actually put together an ultimate bundle on the website, which is all the nuts and bolts, pieces and parts uh, that you need to assemble it. It's the laser uh, cut steel and the plans. And we've got that up there so you can buy that. You would still have to come up with the wheels and the tube steel, motor, VFD, and all that. But uh, it ultimately gets you way further ahead than you would if you had to just buy the plans and cut the steel yourself. Going back to what I was saying about the CNC plasma cutter, um, I designed, I spent all morning this morning, about four or five hours, just sitting inside of Fusion I've graduated now since uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago from SketchUp to Fusion, which by the way, that's a whole nother video. If anybody's ever interested in understanding Fusion 360, it's a free Autodesk program uh, if you're a non-commercial entity and it is amazing. Once you start picking it up and how uh, it works and functions, it's an amazing piece of software and I can't believe it's ultimately free to use. Um, but so I spent a ton of time inside of Fusion and I started uh, really playing around with the core concepts of pieces that could be fabricated out of plate steel. It still requires you to weld because there is a 90 degree there and I didn't want to add any more um, hardware to the design. So it does require some welding, but I fully believe that I've come up with now something that uh, is is fairly simple to cut out on a plasma CNC and even easier to cut out on a laser cutter or a water jet that would hold up the uh, the platen itself. So this is a 100% a uh, uh, solution to say having to fabricate a piece of angle iron or a piece of tube steel to meet the needs of holding that platen up. 
Also, um, something I took into consideration was in now in Fusion, you can actually go in and uh, download all the pieces and parts that you're using from McMaster, and they are one of the vendors that I use uh, to uh, put together my hardware packs. So I now know that the you know everything is going to line up and be straight. With this platen bracket, the way it's going to work is that um, you shouldn't need any risers and you can also use the existing uh, three quarter inch um, bolts that come in the hardware pack. So you didn't have to change this, you would just use this and uh, say a lock washer to hold it all together. And then you would use the half inch versions of this bolt to hold the uh, high carbon steel to the face of the platen. I haven't built it yet because I don't have my plasma table. It's supposed to show up tomorrow and of course it's going to take me a few days to assemble it and learn how to use it. But I believe very, very quickly that I'll be able to prototype, rapidly prototype this thing and sort that out. And if that's the case, I'm going to uh, make a few of them and see if they sell. And if you guys want them, you can add them to your grinders. Uh, it's also would be something that you could modify and use if you didn't have say a revolution 2x72 grinder the, the the plate i'm going to give you would be 11 inches long but not all platens are that uh, will accommodate 11 inches so i would um, i'll send it to you in pieces and you can pop the welds where you need to and trim that piece off so it would work with with your platen um, so you know that kind of that whole concept was uh, you know took me a few days to sort of come up with it but it really was bothering me that I could not come up with a decent solution, which is, what, by the way, why it's not included in the, um, the, the, the plate steel pack. It's just not because I, I couldn't come up with the concept up until now. So that said, I think this is going to work. And if you can take a look at my design, I'm going to uh, post uh, the, uh, obviously you're watching the video now of me doing the actual design but I will post some pictures up on my website, housemade.us. I'll, I'll put a link down below so you can find that page. And I'd like you guys to kind of take a look at it and tell me, am I missing anything? And one of the other limitations I'm not familiar with is, can a plasma CNC make those kinds of cuts and, uh, you know, so that, that geometry that I'm asking it to do is it possible? You know, I know it's possible with a laser jet, but I don't know if it's possible with a plasma. So if you could take a look at it, let me know what you think. And if you think, oh, hey, there's a much better way to do this. If you tell me now, I'll be able to redesign it and actually, um, you know, add that to the prototyping process. Uh, one of the things I'm super excited about when I, when I receive that plasma CNC from Langmuir is the fact that I will be able to conceptualize these things in the morning and then rapid prototype them, type them in the afternoon. And then I will be able to release those things to you all in, as part of the community, uh, whether it be in DXF files, you can cut your own, or you can just simply purchase like something like this, this little platen and all these little pieces, I could throw in a, in a flat rate envelope, you know, in a Ziploc bag and flat rate envelope and send it anywhere in the continental US for like seven bucks. So, you know, I mean, plus the cost of the steel and everything. But, you know, if you think about it in terms of that, there's a, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff that we can, we can offer and, you know, set up on the website and all that. But uh, I really do truly appreciate you guys and your support because uh, honestly, my website has blown up. I have more orders than I know what to do with. And the last uh, video I put out about the hardware, um, I, I now have like a thousand pounds of hardware coming from Bolt Depot and that's like no joke. Um, I, I ordered um, about uh, 200 different sets of, uh, to build all the different hardware sets for the Revolution 2x72 and it was, it was pretty penny. It was, the, uh, it was a lot of money to do it. But I, the sales up to now have been so rapid and so, um, you know, I've been selling so many that I feel like if I don't do it all in one shot, if I don't make like 200 at a time, I'm just going to be making hardware packs for the rest of my life. <laughs> and so I, I kind of want to don't, I don't want to do that. I want to, want to get on with prototyping and doing other things. So I figure, you know what, a weekend in here building hardware packs is no big deal and I can do that. So truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. 
And uh, as I continue to evolve the revolution, I will share all of that with you. This platen bracket piece that I've prototyped, I will offer that as DXF files to anyone who has purchased the plans. And then I will, um, I, I'll have to draw it up somehow in, in the plan set of how to, to, to put it together. That will have to come later because I, I haven't actually built it yet. So once it's done and all complete, I'll add that to the plan set, just like the tracking mechanism and, and all the other bolts and other stuff. I've, I've, um, I've modified how I do a couple of things that I think makes a lot of sense, but uh, we'll add that to the plan set moving forward. As always, guys, if you got something out of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell, you get a notification every time I upload something to YouTube. There are many ways to support my work here. Uh, Patreon is one. Um, my website is by far the best way you, know, you can go on there and uh, check it out for, uh, I'm, I'm getting a whole new line of stickers and merch. We're rolling out a whole new um, slogan next week, which we'll, we'll, we'll release that next week so you guys can see that. I think you'll really love that. And uh, t-shirts and all that jazz on the website, plus all the pieces and parts to the revolution. Um, and then, of course, all the other ways, Amazon store and uh, buy me a coffee. And for those of you who have reached out to me uh, recently, um, just know that your emails are like in a queue. I am trying to respond to everybody and trying to respond to all the comments as well. So if I missed you, I'm very sorry. I get um, now I get so much communication at once and I am working really hard at um, sort of. Uh, logistically understanding how I can uh, still keep up with the upload schedule of YouTube and also uh, my business here and then also respond to you and and if just so you know I star all of them and I go through them like late at night or early in the morning and I respond so um, if you haven't heard from me yet you will and uh, I will I promise I will respond to those emails as always guys I hope to see you on the next video my name is Brian House and this has been Housework. Uh -huh.